Hello, it's Reve here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the glitch skull you guys saw in the beginning and uh, yeah, I thought it looked pretty cool so I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. Let's get right into this. So the first thing you're going to do is to make a solid layer and here we're going to add element 3D. We're going to open up scene setup here. And here we are going to import our 3D model and the skull 3D model will be linked in the description so you guys can download it. Boom! So when you have added your skull here we are going to add a physical material here and uh, I chose chrome here so it has a little shine to it. And yeah after you've done that you can press ok up here and now we're going to animate this skull here so the first thing we're going to do is to open up group one here and then particle replicator rotation and then particle look and we can increase the size to 100 and then we're going to if you want to level up your editing and Vado elements is the perfect platform for you and Vado elements open up a world of creative possibilities for all of your design projects and it's powered by a community of talented designers you will get graphic assets educational resources and business management tools check the first link in the description mess around here in the uh, rotation and i'm going to set this to minus 96 uh, degrees so the skull is facing towards us and then i'm going to be adding 12 degrees to the uh, uh, y rotation here boom just like that and then we're going to keyframe the Z rotation here. So you're going to press the clock here in the beginning of your composition. And then we're going to go to the ending, which is going to be five seconds in this case. And you're going to drag this two whole laps here, just like that. And the next thing we're going to do is to open up the form here. And we're going to open up after that twist, enable it. And then we're going to keyframe the twist uh, set here. So you're going to press the clock here. Go five whole laps here. Boom. So it looks something like this. And then you're going to go to the middle of your composition, which is going to be two and a half seconds. So around here, I have 15 frames per second. So it can't really find a middle. But yeah, this was this will do the job. And then after that, you're going to open up the uh, solid layer here. Effects, element, group one particle look, deform, twist. And then you can see these two keyframes here. You're going to select them and then press F9. And then we're going to open up the graph here. And I'm going to set this one all the way down here and this one all the way down there as well. After that, we can go out of the graph and we can close the deform down. And we're going to open up render settings now and open up physical environment. And then we're going to open up rotate environment. And here we're going to keyframe the Y rotation on environment, uh, start at, starting at zero, and you're going to, going to go to five seconds, uh, the end of your composition, and then go minus three laps here. So it's going to rotate the opposite direction than the skull. And yeah, after that, we're going to open up light here, add, add lighting, lightning and then choose 360 so it looks something like this now and you can set the light influence to zero percent instead and here we're going to open up ambient occlusion after that enable ao set the ssao intensity to 50 and then the ssao sample to 64 so it looks something like this now pretty pretty clean pretty pretty clean in my opinion so yeah that should be good for the skull here so now you guys going to pre-comp this so you're going to click on the layer Right click on the layer, press pre-comp, and here name it to skull, boom. And then here we're going to add Omino Diffusion. So it's going to look, look something like this now for the moment. And we're going to set the error across to 0 0.67. And then we're going to drag up the width 1 on the color 1 to 12. And then we're going to make a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And we're going to start off by adding deep glow to this. Boom. And here I'm going to set the radius to 500 and the exposure to 0 0.6. And you can add smooth blending as well to this. This should be good for the deep glow. And we're also going to add four color gradient to this. And here I'm going to go uh, with a lighter blue here. So maybe some, yeah, something like this looks good. Select this color to all the other positions boom and then here you're going to choose color on the blending mode so you get something like this now 
and then you can yeah rename the adjustment layer to glow and we're going to add a new adjustment layer as well so you are going to press ctrl alt y again and you're going to drag this adjustment layer below the glow one and here we're going to add glitchify and the settings i will be using here is going to be 15 on the amount and you're going to open up Im image glitch and then disable it that should be good for the glitch adjustment layer and after that we're going to add a, another adjustment layer so you're going to press ctrl alt y again and then here we're going to add signal and the settings i will be using here is going to be in the luma modulation and we're going to turn off this one here and the tape error so it's going to look something like this now and then the final thing i'm going to do is to add a overlay and i'm going to use a overlay from my overlay pack so if you guys want to check that out it will be available on my website so yeah i'm going to be adding this one here boom just like that and then drag this one below everything so we get something like this now and we're going to copy this amino diffusion effect we had on the uh, skull and add it to the overlay boom Control v and the only thing I want to do here, it's a pretty fast overlay, so I'm going to change the timer mapping a little bit by pressing Ctrl or T on the overlay. Go to 5 seconds, press the keyframe here, and then drag this one to 10 seconds, so it becomes twice as slow. And you can press the setting here, it's a frame blending setting, so it doesn't uh, lag depending on what frame rate you're at your composition is in so yeah something like this and then you can select all of the layers here uh, with shift right click pre-comp name it glitch skull and to get rid of this uh, color line uh, at the top up there we are just going to scale up a little bit so we're going to scale up to 101 percent boom just like that so yeah, that's how you made the Glitch Skull Visualizer. And if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow my socials. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.